I always get asked how I work remotely in biotech, pharma, whatever. Um, I work in regulatory affairs. That's the first job here. So I just wanted to give you guys some entry level biotech and pharma job titles. They're the same in either one, whichever one you decide. So the first job is going to be regulatory affairs specialist. Right now I work as an associate director in global regulatory affairs. So I manage studies all over the world. But as a regulatory affairs specialist, um, you help prepare and maintain documentation related to uh, drug product applications. So that could be a PMA, a 510K for med device, or an IND, a BLA, an NDA, an SNDA, a SBLA. Um, there's so many different applications, but you would learn that on the job and they pretty much teach you for the most part. Um, that's what I was when I first started out and I first started out at Pfizer. Next is going to be a clinical research coordinator. You work to correspond with patients and you also work with the principal investigators on these studies. It's definitely more of a desk job. That's not remote at all because you have to be on site working with the patients and the doctors. But the regulatory affairs specialist can be remote once you get a little bit more experience. Next is the medical writing associate. Definitely can be remote like later on um, once you get a little bit more experience. But you're basically writing regulatory documents, SOPs, medical and scientific documents. That could be like a protocol. It could be um, an ICF, which means an informed consent form that patients have to sign before participating in a study. The type of documents you write are all over the place. It could be a briefing book, like a meeting request, anything. Next are my clinical research associates, and you're responsible for monitoring the study sites and clinical activities. Now, let me tell you, working as a CRA, you make bank, but I hear a lot of CRAs say they're so exhausted because you're traveling all the time. You are the person going to the clinical sites. So you're making that money, but you're also spreading yourself across so many different studies, so many different sites. And if you work for a CRO, I'm praying for you. But yeah, this job, CRA, you cannot be remote. Last is a quality assurance associate, and you're basically just responsible for document review and disposition, ensuring regulatory requirements are maintained. Quality assurance is very boring to me, not interesting. You're not a part of strategy. It's very like, what you do is what you do. Regulatory, I like because you get to come up with different strategy on how to get like different products approved. So it's very interesting to navigate the uh, FDA's pathways. But quality assurance, you're just making sure everyone's abiding by the rules. You're making sure you're assuring quality. And this job can be remote. 